this CDK serverless LAMP construct library to help us build out a serverless version of Laravel. So it built the function for us, added the breath layer to run the PHP, and we had API gateway running in front of it, invoking the function. I want to break this down even further. I'm going to use Python because I can grok that much easier than I can with TypeScript. And I want to build each of these constructs individually. So then we can start diving into it a little bit more and see that like, how do we spark off a uh, queue? So how do we run a SQS worker? How do we run artisan commands? That sort of thing. So let's dive in by first creating a brand new install of Laravel. So if I go to Laravel, dot build and then we'll call it Laravel serverless and let's pipe that through to bash. That's going to go away and install Laravel for me. Okay, so then let's move into the Laravel service directory. Let's open this up in VS Code. So there's a few things that I wanted to do here. First of all, let's give it the same code layout. So I want code base, which means that everything needs to sit within Laravel should be sat inside the code base folder. And I'm also going to make a CDK folder. Now within the CDK folder, let's spark up CDK itself. So CDK init, and then let's do this in Python. So we can take a look at what that's installed here. If I go into CDK, then here's our stack with the default SQSQ in there. Let's get rid of that. So what I want to do here is build a function and then an HTTP API and then just output the endpoint so we can see it. So let's first of all create the function itself. I'm going to have to import Lambda. So I want, let's bring in that duration and let's have AWS Lambda as Lambda. And then if I bring in Lambda, and then we want a function here. Here's the scope. Let's call it Laravel Web. Uh, and we want a few things going on here. So the runtime is a runtime object, and that's going to be provided AL2. We've got a handler, and that's going to be our app, so public index.php. And then the code itself, so right now I'm going to say code, and then that's going to be from asset, and then let's bring up from the code base. So that's going to load our code base, and then I want to bring in the breath layer. So I'm going to say layers. And then in here, it's a Lambda layer. Give me a new line. And this is going to be Lambda. And this is a layer version. And then from layer version. On. And then <clears throat> this is going to be, it's called a breath PHP layer. And this is going to be on AWS Lambda. EUS2 Lambda. And then it is the breath account number, which I am writing from, I'm copying from being written down in front of me. I did not remember this. 474974006698 layer. This is from the breath documentation as well. The breath website is brilliant. Well worth checking out. And then we want number 19. So that's 209 497 400 698. Perfect. Okay, so that's the layer that we're bringing in. Let's give it a timeout of. Let's give it a 60 second timeout. And then let's send some environment variables along with it as well. So I want app storage is going to be temp and and that's all I need. That's all I need. So there's our function. Easy enough. That's going to pull in from the code base. So that should be fine. The code base itself is all installed and ready. So that's cool. So let's then do a web integration. Now to do this, we're going to have to bring in some libraries that aren't quite there yet. So if I go into requirements, we're going to need the AWS CDK 
AWS API Gateway D2 Integrations Alpha, as well as the AWS CDK AWS API Gateway Alpha. So then let's pop into the virtual end. So I'm going to source. Let's activate that virtual end, and then let's do the pip install on the requirements. So this should install everything we need. Sweet cake. Let's go back into the CDK stack. Uh, let's import those. CDK.AWS API Gateway V2 Integrations Alpha Import. And so I want to import the HTTP Lambda integration and from AWS cdk.aws api gateway v2 alpha i want to import the h http api so now what i can do is create the integration so the web integration is going to be http Lambda integration, and that's Laravel web integration. I'm going to do that with Laravel web. There's the function, and then my endpoint is going to be a H HTTP API, and that again is self. And this is going to be my API gateway. Ah, yeah, API gateway. And for that, I want a default integration. So default integration is the web integration there. So any call made to this API gateway, let's pass it over to our function. And then finally, I want one more thing. You should be in there. That duration there is not being called, but you're being called right there. So why are you gray? Interesting. And then CFN output, let's, help. let's bring that in. And then in CFN output, let's dump the API URL. And that's going to be my endpoint URL. Okay, I think that's it. So we've got the function running there. We've got the HTTP Lambda integration and the actual API up and running. So then let's do CDK deploy. And I'm going to set my profile. Okay, less than a minute and a half. Let's execute the API and we should get a default Laravel installation screen. Internal server error. Well, isn't that disappointing? Let's go back here. Go into the code base. Let's install breath and breath Laravel bridge. Redeploy. Okay, let's check that out again. Where's my output? Let's see this work. Awesome. Okay, next steps. I want to move this function into its own Docker image because the 250 megabyte limit is very restrictive. And then I want to get an, uh, an RDS attached to it as well. But all in all, we're making progress.